Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be showing you how to go from 1k to 1 million coins in EAFC. So if you're new around here and you want a team like mine, or just one of my players, well you're in the right place. And all you've got to do to say thank you is drop a like down below, subscribe if you are new, and if you want 500,000 coins completely free, all you've got to do is show proof of subscription over on Instagram and you'll be entered into the giveaway. But without further ado, let's get into the video. If you guys are still stuck with a team like this, and everyone you play in champs has a team like this, then you need to head over to Skycoach in the link below. Not only have they got the cheapest and most reliable service for FIFA coins, you can pick any amount of coins, select your console, and put in code PROREECALL for 10% off. So as many of you know, a lot of the best things to do to make coins involve SPCs, and right now, one of the easiest ones is always going to be your marquee matchups. We've also additionally got a UEFA marquee matchups, which we will look at in another video, but both of these SPCs are 100% guaranteed profit. All you've got to do is wait 48 hours after they come out so that the solutions are a little bit cheaper and then complete them and they will always be brilliant profit. You've also got the TOTS warm up which if you're doing from your club is absolutely one of the better SBCs to be doing. If you're doing it from Footbin just make sure you're not doing it from the first solution that's available. But let's pop into the marquee matchup. So first of all if we have a look at this we've got a jumbo premium, a rare mixed, a small rare and a premium mix on top of a jumbo premium gold players pack so very very good overall rewards let's pop these in you can see very simple solutions there obviously you can do most of these if you were going and doing the born legend of rising star from icon packs if you go ahead and do the gold daily challenge you can get the players from this essentially for free but if you're not doing it that route of course you can go ahead and build it from footbin which is what i've done myself because a lot of the times, it doesn't matter about spending the coins. I have a lot of players in my club. I can't really be bothered uh, to spend the time to work out the solutions a lot of the time. So I just pop it uh, over on, on the bot. I get it completed that way. It buys the players for me, and then we are good to go. It just makes it a little bit more simple uh, and a little bit less time consuming, to be honest. But that means we're going to have five packs to open, and hopefully we're going to get some good players from them. I mean, you saw those four squads. None of them even, I don't even know if there was a gold rare player in sight. But you can see how damn cheap these are going to be. Now, just before, we move on to the next steps of this. I do want to remind you guys, not only is the UA for marquee matchups also profitable, but every icon SBC, the start of every single one, Born Legend and Rising Star, 11 rare bronzes, 11 rare silvers, is always a profit SBC, especially during promos because silver players that are converted to a promo card can be packed in the silver pack and gold commons that are converted to a promo card can also be packed. So if you want over team of the season, Cole Palmer, then you might want to go and get a load of these done. Similarly, for the common gold players pack, if you have a look, some of the better players this season will have common cards. I think there's a Fulham player who's been absolutely killing it. I'm pretty damn sure he has also got a common card, but none of that or less of that or done with that, we're going to move over to these packs to see what we can make. Now, bear in mind, the marquee matchup solution right now costs 15,000 coins, 13.5 to be specific. So bear in mind, all we need to make off this is, what, 20K? And we're pretty good in the money. So let's have a look what we get. So first of all, this pack, I would essentially probably just sell off all these players. I'll give Sterling up for 1,000 coins maybe. And then if we were to quick sell the rest of them, you're looking at what 2.7 there obviously sterling um, just above the 1k mark so you're probably looking at 4k from that first pack so 4k off the bat from that first one so we only need to make 9.4 out of these four packs which realistically is more than what's guaranteed so um, or less than what's guaranteed so you're absolutely going to make that so bright off the bat so let's say that's 5k so we're on 9k already we'll keep her um i'll probably sell the rest of these so if we get rid of all these the 83 we'll say goes for maybe a k uh, again so realistically from the first pack we made 4k from this one that's five plus bright that's 10 uh, and then we also sold these guys so we're looking at for basically 12.3 already and um, so 12.3 we've got three packs to go essentially we're pretty much guaranteed a decent profit now we're just looking for maybe an inform or an 86 87 and we're absolutely laughing so this pack here pretty pretty poor so that one's got us an extra 2k so we're on the sort of 1k 1.5k of profit now now we're just looking for those big sort of pulls to get us over that mark so we're going to skip this first pack we've got 1k of profit so far okay we'll get rid of all of these that's not even in the question that'll be gone anchor that goes for about k right now so that's 2k of profit there and then we go get rid of all these all these, all these, I think maybe sell him for a K as well. So it's 3K of profit, and then we'll sell all of these. So we're looking at 3K of profit plus the extra four. So we're looking at 7K of profit. So this last pack, if we get 3K, we're at 10K profit. 
And if we get anything more, obviously it's just gonna add on to that profit mark. So center back from Italy doesn't look great. Let's have a look who we got. So we've got a Serbi. So that's 1K really um, as an 83. Uh, let's just have a look. If we go all the way to the end here, we've not got a lot of special there, but that's our biggest pack. So remember, we quick sell all that and we're absolutely laughing. So that's 8K there. We already had seven. So we've made 15,000 coins profit just from packs. And that was pretty bog standard. The only thing that we got out of there that was kind of not really the base uh, or the most basic thing you can get. I mean, that one sold on bid for 300. That's not great. But the thing that we didn't they get, uh, the, 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 the thing that we got that was not the most basic was bright. So an 85 was our best pull there. So I would say that's a pretty poor marquee matchups. I've had hundreds of thousands of coins of profit in the past. So actually, that's a pretty big dub. Now, if you don't have the coins to do that, don't worry. I've absolutely got you. So I had a comment the other day asking for basically low budget filters. So that is what we're going to do start off. I think someone said they only had like seven or 8,000 coins or maybe even 3,000 coins. But with that amount of coins, you want to start by going over to Brazil and Arsenal. That's pretty much the easiest place to go with that amount of coins. So you've got 84s on deck, Martinelli, Jesus and Gabriel. So Gabriel. Gabriel, 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 too many Gabriels uh, to remember. But if we have a look here, we're kind of looking at the 1.6 there. Let's have a look. Maybe if we go to 1.4, we scroll along. These are too damn cheap right now. Wow, the market is the market is low. Let me just check. Is that the lowest they go for? The lowest they go for is 1.2. So realistically right now there's not a huge bracket in that which is surprising and um, you can sell these essentially at 1.4 and um, but they are the cheapest you can get them is going to be that 1.2 there so we've managed to get one there pretty easily can we get a second one no but you can see how easy the profit in there is available so i'm quite surprised that they're that cheap um, but I suppose the market is just low. So on that 1.4 sale, I'll lose 70 coins to EA tax. I'll actually only make 130 coins profit, which isn't bad. Obviously, if you are on the low end of things, 130 coins profit is 130 coins profit. So there's nothing to complain about. So between these two, um, we've got ourselves a nice 260 coins profit, which is good. Obviously, if you imagine it, 20 cards would be 2.6K profit. If you've only got 8K, and um, you saw how quickly I made those ones very, very quickly, you can move up in the ranks. Now, the next filter we're going to do is going to be inspired by our crappy marquee matchups. We're going to go for, I think it's, I want to say it's Defender and Chemistry Style, uh, or Playstyle Plus, sorry. Let's have a look at Chelsea. I believe, yeah, this is the one. So you've got Lawrence and, let me just have a look. Lawrence, you've got Bright. I believe there's another player, but maybe there isn't. Maybe I'm being, maybe I'm being silly. So we're going to go to what I assume maybe four, four, five K. So we've got Bright there at 4K, which means actually the profit from marquee matchups was 14K, not 15, because she's a little bit cheaper than I expected. But you get the gist. We're still pretty much on the mark there. So if we have a look at 4.4, so let's have a look through here. There was a, did I just see a, a Buchanan there? Oh, there, ah, there you go. That's the other player, Buchanan. You've got Buchanan, you've got Bright, and then you've got the right back, I think, as well, uh, who's 86. So you've got a couple of players there. But it looks like 4.4 is the sell point. So EA tax on 4.4. We do 10% and we half it. So 4.4 is going to be 440 coins. We half that, so it'll be 220. So if we go down to here, you're making 80 coins profit here. You're making 180 coins profit. So that one there, straight off the bat, 180 coins. Very, very good. Um, pop that up let's go to 4.4 so if you want to make a little bit more profit if you don't think 180 is enough you can knock it down to 3.9 then you'll be making 280 so very simple just knock it down by 100 uh, to the point where you're happy with it if you think that 280 is not enough and you want to make 500 coin profit then you knock it down by another two and you're making 480 coins profit per card so there you go very quickly uh, you can increase your profit margin on these cards so we see that one there with that one there very easily, we're going to get these listed for 4.4. So you've seen very quickly there, out of those three cards, we were made, what, basically 200 apiece. So we've made 600 coins in pretty much no time at all. So it's very, very easy to do that. If you were going on that 3.9 mark and saying, well, I want to make more profit per card, you've actually just missed out on 600 coins of profit, which is why I always say at that kind of lower level where you're not making loads per card, but you're making loads because there are a load of cards. Now, the next step, of course, if we're going to go, you know, we want to go 1K to 1 million, we do need to at least go for some higher rated cards. So the next step, in my opinion, is a filter we've touched on a lot. And I'm not going to do too much on this because we have touched on it a lot, but La Liga, Gold Rare, Centre Mid, 
you go here, obviously off the bat, you've got Cruz, you've got Modric, you've got Bellingham. All you've got to do to basically wait out the crap ones is go to Playstyles Plus. And as you can see, we've got Pedri, we've got Modric, we've got Cruz, we've got Parejo, we've got Bellingham. You're going to have an absolute ton of players there. If you want to sort of siphon this off a little bit differently, you can do German. And if you take off Playstyles Plus and just go German, you're going to be looking at Gundogan and Cruz. So very, very quickly conflict between those filters. And obviously Gundogan doesn't have a Playstyles Plus. So if you're having trouble with the Playstyles Plus one, come over to this one and you should have a little bit better luck. Now the other filter that we want to go if we are staying on the gold rare front the next step up in my opinion is to go cdm minimum of 10 to 50 and premier league so this one on the gold rare front you're going to see not many players meet this now tonali you want to get rid of him so all you've got to do play stars plus again and this let's sit you on a nice little casemiro and rodri filter so two of the big dogs in the premier league obviously right now casemiro is basically having one of the worst runs of forms in anyone's careers he is pretty much in the mud and um, i've seen even united fans which is uh, a fan base who are pretty deluded most of the time and even they are admitting uh, that my man is just having an absolute stinker. So we're looking at 24,000 coins or 24,000, 24.5. If we take off CDM, just have a look who else sort of adds in the mix. Yeah, there's too many kind of not great players in terms of value. So we can do non-CDM, but you're going to want to do it as a much cheaper filter. So like the 24 mark, EA tax is going to be 1.2K. So that's 5% for those of you uh, who are wondering how that's worked out. I always do 10% and half it. I had someone comment in the other day moaning that I got it wrong because I said the right thing and um, because 10 percent and half is five percent uh, but they wanted to whine about it so if you you know if you want it clearer it is five percent for the dyslexic ones of us i'm pretty sure i'm minorly dyslexic and um, not 100 percent certain i've only got adhd confirmed but um, we might have dyslexia as well. But I struggle with numbers, weirdly enough, 5% sounds awful to me, 10% really, really is easily doable. So um, that's just how I work it out. Uh, so for the guy who moaned about that, he cried himself to sleep, but we've, we've given it a better explanation this time. But there you go, that filter there, obviously we didn't pick anyone up, but we weren't on it for too long. Basically, the next step from there is to go ahead and go for icons or heroes or promo cards. So you can pick which one you go for. I would say heroes and icons is the easiest thing to do because right now, heroes and icons, pretty much a lot of the promos, they're in the month. So if you go Galaza Hero, for example, you literally are looking at what, like on Prem, I think it's like 20K maybe, not even if that. So if you go over here, 22K, 25K, that's really really easy feel there from the bat um additionally the heroes and the, the recent promos the icons but what we can do with a, a nice one if you go saudi league you've got a couple filters over here so saudi league french i think it was, it was this one you're gonna have to so kante there finally at 100k we've got benzema finally at a reasonable price so these guys are finally snipable together because before benzema has been pretty unreasonably priced whereas now we've got a bit of a more reasonable one for both of them 90k for kante i would say he's worth a little bit less being that he's had what like two sbcs or got two better cards out since irrespective we're still going to be able to make some dollar off him so 93k ea tax We'll do it as this is 100, it's about 5k. And um, so you want to go to about 86, 87. 87, you're looking at 2k profit per card. Obviously, if you get a Benzema, you're looking at about 70, 80k profit, which is obviously an absolute blast. So obviously, you've got these options here as well. Uh, additionally, we can go over to the heroes and snipe the heroes from the Saudi League, but they're not as good. So this is definitely one of the better filters that we've got more recently. And the other thing that you can do to make yourself way, way more coins, subscribe, send proof over on Instagram, you'll be entered into giveaway. I'll see you tomorrow.